issue we have been on for about three episodes now is courtism. We have seen the effects of courtism in our society. We've explained what courtism is. Now this class will be inconclusive if we don't give some preferred solution to courtism. What can we do to curb this problem? What can we do to minimize this problem? In our class for today, I'm going to talk about seven ways we can help. Though it cannot be eliminated totally, unless we rebrand our mind to eliminate it. Every member of the society rebranding their mind to say no to this act. It's a secret uh, organization that carry out their dealings and activities in the dark. Now look at the seven ways I have come up with. One, report cases of court activities. Two, establish anti-court groups to be formed. Three, security agencies to punish court members. Four, regular public lectures and seminars should be held. Five, collaboration with religious organizations. Six, parents to educate and give good examples to their children. And lastly, social media and public enlightenment. These are the seven ways I want to discuss. Now let's take it one at a time. The first one is report cases of court activities. If you are aware of any court activity around you, near your home, in your environment, in your community, in your society, where you found yourself. If you happen to know any of these activities, report to the law enforcement agent. Report to any, any, any group that is formed to fight these court groups. Then you can advise individuals you know they are part and parcel of these devilish organizations to desist, refrain, and rechannel their energy. When we report these groups, they will be on their tippy to knowing that the society does not accept them. Those who want to be involved will, don't, will be discouraged. Those who are in there we know that it is not something the society accepts. So they will be afraid to carry out such activities. Secondly, anti-court groups to be formed. There are these court members, some of them have renounced. If you are just an independent person, you will not know how they operate. But if these individuals are renounced court members who said, I am done with this group, I don't want to be part of it, and they come out publicly and tell you we don't want to, put them all together and form an anti-court group for them to reveal the secrets of these court groups. That way, they will be able to know how to fight them better because they were part of it and they, were, they are already out of it. They know their tactics, they know their tricks, so they will channel their attention on how their activity works and be able to curb it. So instead of stigmatizing these individuals who have renounced, put them together to be anti court groups, let them help to fight those who have refused to leave such organizations. The third one is security agency to punish courtists. Whether they have godfathers or not, Punish those who are members of this court so that the coming generation, the younger ones, others looking at joining, will see the punishment method for these individuals and know that it's not an acceptable norm. They wouldn't want to enter because they see the punishment that is um, given to those who were court members and were caught. So, law enforcement agency, stop taking breath and do the right, do the needful, so that the society can be rid of cultism. Regular public lectures and seminars, go to schools, organize lectures, tell them the odds of being a courtist, tell them the benefits of being neutral from this organization. Then fourth, fifthly, um, collaboration with religious organizations. Religious organizations can preach against cultism. Let them imbibe good morals 
good moral behavior is very important for individuals. And so when religious organizations preach against it, and members of their religious group learn about this, whether young ones, whether people who are contemplating joining, that will help them not to be part of it. So religious groups have a big part to play, to create awareness in their members that it is wrong. Then the sixth one is parents to educate and give good examples. Parents should not be part of a court group so that their children don't emulate them. Set good examples, set good morals. Your child's learning starts from the home. You are your first teacher. The first institution the child comes to know is the home. So parents should be good examples. Parents should be good moral agents that will disseminate good morals to their children. Then social media and public enlightenment. Let's have ads on different social medias. Let's come up with topics, lectures on social medias to expose these young ones to these lectures. Let them know the odds, the bad and the good that the society accepts. Let them know that the society does not accept courtism. That way they will desist from such acts. So these are few preferred solutions I came up with. Report cases of court activities, form anti-court groups, a security agency to punish court members, regular public lecture and enlightenment, collaboration with religious bodies, parents to educate their children on good morals and disease from courtism, then social media public enlightenment. That will be it. We have rounded our class on courtism. If you are part of that organization, renounce, change, be a better student, be a better individual, channel your energy to something good. I will see you in our next class where we discuss another social issue that is affecting our society and our community. Thank you for being part of the class. Until I come your way next class, subscribe if you've not subscribed, share the video, watch and rewatch. Let learning be part of you. Thank you for dropping by.